welcome to Windy Hill Rob Tree, and today we're going to be talking about the Mini Rex Breed Standard. So, in Mini Rexes, you want them to be circular. So when you pose them, we're going to turn you like this. Ocean. This is Ocean, by the way. Alright, you are not cooperating. So, you want to put your hand on their butt and their face, and you just want to gently push their head to the ground, and then tuck their butt up. So you get, okay, you're not listening. Hold on, put your head down. So you get this nice round rabbit. Now, if you look at them from behind, you need to be in the center. This is probably going to work. Okay, stop. Stop being, don't slide me. Okay, you know what? This is not what they should look like when they are being posed. You're going to, stretching out. Push down. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, in Lady Rexes, you want them to have a basketball-shaped hind end, and you really want them, she's pretty fat, and chubby, you see, and there's hair everywhere. Now, from the nape of the neck, which is right behind the ears here, their shoulders should go right up into the hump. She is a pretty nice mini rex. she's a little bonier. Sorry, there's hair everywhere. Now... So a mini rack should, the um, peak should start right from the nape of the neck and come up here. Now also, when you are looking at them, they should also have their feet down to the ground so that their elbows are touching the ground. Okay, so more like that. So you want the peak, the high point of the rise, which on her is about right here. You want it to be right um, at the front of the hind end, so you, on your rabbit you can feel where the hind end bone comes forward. You want the peak to go right there in front of it, so she peaks pretty well. Some rabbits will peak more forward and then they'll slant off, like one of my Polish, and that's not good. So in Maniarx you want a nice round shape with an even peak, so you want the peak right in the center, right over the hip. Now we're going to look at her hind. So, when you look at a mini rex's hind, you can kind of tell that you can see where her hind legs are, and that's not the best. You really want them to be nice and full and round, and you don't really want to be able to see anything. So, this right here is the loin, and on a rabbit, it's not, like, in meat rabbits, it can be a piece of meat, but in show rabbits, it's not. But... You don't want a hollow loin. You want it to be nice and thick and bold, and that's why you can see the hind legs. If they have a shallow loin, they're going to be really indented, and you can really see their hind end. What you really want to see is a nice full hind end. Would you stop being a pretend your feet? Sit down. All right, so we want to see a nice full hind end. We're going to pull out cinnamon here to get a nice full hind end. Violet is helping me. Yes, cinnamon. So now that we have cinnamon, we are going to look at her. Cinnamon is a smaller doe. Um, you would like them to be a little bigger. She does have a dewlap, and that is, so dewlaps are okay in does, but they are not okay in bucks for show quality. So if your buck has a dewlap, it's not showable. Now, cinnamon is going through shed right now, so she's a little weird looking. But when we pose her, she has a nice full hind quarter. And then when we look at her from behind, she has a fuller hind quarter than Ocean does. Okay, you can't see her. You can't see her hind legs as much. She's nice and full and round, and she's got a very nice shape to her hind end. Now, one thing that is, um, it's not a disqualification, but it's not good for mini rexes. When you pose them, would you put your feet down, please? All of our mini rexes have a have a tood about have an attitude about posing, so bear with me. So you want their elbows on the ground, which she's not doing, but we're just gonna go with it. When you pose them, their shoulder is right here. If they have really long shoulders, have, so a cylindrical type, sorry, not a cylindrical, a semi, 
arch is when it's kind of like a mandolin on the ground, so it's got flat shoulder and then it goes up into the hump. If you see a mini rex that looks like that, it's not showable. So they're supposed to have really short shoulders and the their um their top line is supposed to go straight from the nape of the neck up and over. So if you see them have longer shoulders than two fingers, it's too long. And you can really tell when you pull their ears forward and you see a flat area, that's not good. So she has a pretty good, she's got slightly long, you can see it doesn't go all the way, doesn't go up. It kind of like slants up a little bit, so she's got slightly long shoulders. But other than that, she's got a really nice top line. Also, their hind end is supposed to be really big, so when you squish them up, their top line, which is up here, should be nice and full and round, and it should peak above their headline. So when you have their head down a little bit lower, all of our rabbits are hoppers, so they don't really like it. So when you peak their head down a little lower, the top line should be above the brow of their head. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the ears and the head. So the head should be nice and round and smooth. If you see a rabbit that has like really defined features, kind of like Ocean does, it's not typically pleasing. Some judges like the more bold heads like Ocean's and some of them like the softer edged heads like Cinnamon's. Um, as long as your rabbit doesn't have an oddly shaped head, it doesn't really matter too much for Minirexes. But you basically just want a nice size head to the body. So if you have a bigger rabbit, a bigger head, smaller rabbit, smaller head, you just want it to be nice and equal looking. Now, you just want it to be a nice curve. You want a little bit of a shape on the front, a um, little bit wider cheek. So she's got her nice head. It just looks nice. Now for the ears, sit. Thank you. the ears should not be more than two and a half inches long. If you have rabbits that have super long ears, that's not desirable. If you have them really short ears like Nail and Dwarfs, that's also not desirable. So you just want a nice length ear that's around two, two and a half um, inches in length. All right, and now we're going to pull out Flint. Okay, so now that we've talked about ears and the head, um, one more thing about the head, Does and bucks are going to have different shaped heads. Could you? You're fine. Just sit. So you saw that Cinnamon the doe had a slightly smaller, narrow head. The bucks will have a thicker, more chubby head. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about was the color. So color is also very important because there. I don't think there's any colors in mini rexes that aren't showable, but in some breeds there are. Um, like in Polish, lilacs are not showable. Now, color is important because if you have a disqualification in color, that will disqualify you before you even get to the body condition. So, when we look at him, thank you. he is a lilac, but he's a really dark lilac. You can see he almost looks like a blue. Um, especially on his head right now, he's very dark. He could be considered a light blue or a dark lilac. So it was very hard to show him because the judges, whether he was in a lilac class or a blue class, they didn't like his color because he was just too in between. Um, and they just didn't really like how that went. Also, so I'm going to just kind of flip him over right now. He also pulled a muscle, so he might be limping a little bit. Come here, buddy. So if you see the color of his nails, he has light colored nails. And I won't show you guys up close, but because he doesn't like his feet touched, so I might flip out. But he has light colored nails. You can see they're almost the color of my hand. Whereas if I got cinnamon out, she would have dark nails. So these are like white clearish, and cinnamons would be black and brown. So if you have dark colored nails on a light colored rabbit, that is a disqualification. And if you have a light colored nail on a dark colored rabbit, that is also a disqualification. Other disqualifications are broken nails or missing toes and toenails, um, and also um, dislocated. Ocean has a dislocated toe, and we're not quite sure how it happened, but she is now unshowable because of her dislocated toe. Um, the last thing you want to consider when you're looking at buying or showing a mini-rex 
sorry guys, this is the leg that um, hurts right now because he um, pulled it. So the last thing you want to consider is the condition. If your rabbit is in really bad condition and its fur is all gross and matted and it just doesn't look good and it's sick or something and it just looks really bad, if it has diarrhea all over its butt or feet, the judge can disqualify you for bad condition. So make sure that your rabbit is healthy and clean when it goes onto the show table because you want them to look their best. One more thing that judges will look at is the tail. Stop pooping everywhere, Flint. So the tail, as you can see, goes straight up. There is a bone in the tail, just like with horses or dogs, and sometimes it can get disformed when they're born and or it can get broken and it can be rye tail which is where it's bent it can be a screw tail which is where it's in kind of a twisty screw so just make sure that you also check the tail um and also we had indigo our netherland dwarf out on the show table and the judge mentioned that her tail was discolored she is a steel and she had a white bottomed tail and he said that was not desirable but she is a baby so she might grow out of that but so you just need to make sure that they don't have any missed markings on them. Um, like in Dutch, they have the specific lines, and if they have um, misformed markings, then that will also be disqualification. So when you're looking to buy or show a mini Rex, you want to look at the height and width of the um, hind end, and actually we are going to get um, one of the other rabbits out right now because... I can't show you his hind end because he's favoring this leg right now since he pulled a muscle. So we are going to get another rabbit out and then I will show you. All right, so now for our final summary of the mini Rex. If you're buying or showing a mini Rex, what you wanna look for, the very big thing is their hind end, okay? When you pose them, would you put your head, don't bite me please. She's very angry because we've been filming for a while. Okay, I'm not gonna pose her because I'm gonna get bit. Now, um, you want a nice width and height to the hind end. So when you pose them, don't bite me, please. When you pose them and tuck their butter, they should have a nice, nice width and height. Now you want about equal width and height because if you have really high and really skinny, that's not good. And if you have a really wide and really short, that's also not good. So you just want a nice round hind end that's nice. And I know I'm touching your butt. I'm sorry that's nice and full. You don't want hollow in the loins, you just want it to be a nice big round basketball. And you also want to make sure you check the tail, just make sure, which um, you should research into what color you are buying or showing because certain colors have certain disqualifications or faults. So you just need to make sure that you're checking um, your color. Now the other thing when you are showing or buying a mini Rex to show, put your head down please. Um, you want to make sure that your top line is nice and smooth, um, your shoulders aren't long. If you see a rabbit that kind of stretches out like this and looks like that, first of all, it's got a short top line and it's got long shoulders. Um, you can feel the shoulder blades um, right here. So if, um, even since she's splayed out like this, I can still feel her shoulder blades and know that she does not have long shoulders. And then I can just scooch her up. I know. Would you put your head down, please? And the elbows are supposed to be on the table. So, yep. You can kind of touch their belly to get them to kind of put it down. Right? And the top line just starts from the nape of the neck right here behind the ears. It goes straight up and down. And you also want to make sure that it doesn't, like, slope off. Like, there's not just the hip bone and then it goes straight down. It's just this nice level slope. Alright? You also want to make sure the ears aren't too long or big. Um, you want to make sure they're a nice shape. Also a nice thickness. If the ear is really thin or really thick, that's not good. She's got a nice density of ear. It's um, in between and it's very nice. Okay. She doesn't have any miscolorings or anything. Her tail is fine. Um, she doesn't have any toenails. She does have a white belly, but that is from her, for her color. So you do need to research your color that you're showing so that you know. Um, she's not sick or anything. She looks nice. She is shedding. Um, some judges might take off points because they're shedding or molting. So you want to try to get them to finish molting before you bring them to the show. Um, she has all her colorations. 
she looks good and her head is nice it's nice and smooth so overall this is a very nice rabbit and i want to thank you guys for watching windy hill rabbit tree and also if you guys have an idea or something you want to learn please comment down below what type of videos you guys want us to do so that we know what you guys want to see thank you please like and subscribe and we'll see you later